Shashank, you are up. Okay, give me a minute. Uh, hi, all. I hope you can see me. I'm just trying to figure this out. Yeah, hi, all. So, let's get started. We are going to discuss Pi Forest mainly. So, uh, this is by 8080 Labs. I don't work for them. I uh, I'm from a non-tech background and shifted to technology. I did some internships, worked with OpenCV and you know, deep learning. And my name is Shashank Yadav. I'm so sorry I didn't uh, introduce myself. I hope you're having a great time here. So uh, Pi Forest is uh, you know, a library, a tool which uh, 8080 Labs has made for to make data scientists 10 times faster. And they really do that. And I'll just show you how. So I'll share my screen. So I hope you can see it. Yeah. So we'll be discussing Bamboo Lib, but we're short of time, so it might, you know, we might overshoot. So Pi Forest is an open source package that imports all of the Python packages that you would normally use for a data science project, like pandas. Matplotlib, Seaborn, and I'll just skip the uh, Bamulib section right now. Okay, so as you can see, they are we are going to import PyForest, load a data set, and we can just start using the libraries like Matplotlib, Seaborn, Pandas, etc. And you know we we don't have to import them separately. No library has to be called for this. Uh, for, uh, no library has to be imported for uh, if you're using a Pi Forest. And you know, uh, Pandas, NumPy, Seaborn, Matplotlib uh, are used, uh, I mean, they are available uh, right now. And uh, we can, you know, see for ourselves. So as you can see, we didn't have to import anything. No Seaborn. Uh, it is as good as importing it. So so it is as good as importing a library. And if we don't import it and just instead use uh, PyForest, we'll save a lot of time. And using this has helped many people. And uh, you know, over a few months, over a month, we a data scientist would end up saving a lot of time. So this is really valuable tool. You can keep building your projects without having a need for uh, importing the libraries. And let's now talk about Bamboo Lib. This is a very interesting document about Bamboo Lib. And we'll first go over the slide here. So for Bamboo Lib, now what it does is, instead of typing the code, you can just interact with the computer like a GUI. And uh, you, know, you don't have to type in any code. As you can see here, I would give you the link in the chat so that you can go through it. Um, since loading this would take some time. Can we just share this in the chat? After your talk, please go in the event chat and you can share. Yeah, we can. We'll, we'll do that later. We'll share it later. Um, right now, we'll just look at the, look at how this works. You install Bamboo Lib and bam, you now have to import Bamboo Lib uh, import uh, pandas and you can as you can see here you can start using this without writing code for you know uh, displaying the data for any other purpose for any purpose that pandas is used for exploring it and these pages have not been loaded i'll just close to time limit. I'm so sorry. 
okay so it's not loaded this is embarrassing i'm really sorry so here you can see uh you know generally we have to use pandas for this but like you can see you can filter you can drop com uh, columns you can sort uh, the different columns without typing any code and once you explore it you will also find that you can um if you click on a button you can also find the code or the corresponding code which bamboo uses bamboo lib uses uh, which panda sorry I'm, I'm really sorry which pandas uses uh, along with it once you click on it and you click on the code section you can see the code as well so this uh, has saved a lot of time uh, for data scientists i'm sorry Shazank, you're over time okay okay it's fine i'll share the code and thanks a lot i'll share the link okay but thank you thanks a lot